Hello fellow math enthusiasts and learners of mathematics. In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative approach to integer addition and subtraction. This is done with vectors on a number line. Now, number lines are leading into measurement math and vectors are used in physics as well as in trigonometry, in engineering, and two number lines crisscrossed over each other as number lines can be horizontal as well as vertical. These number lines here form a coordinate plane as in graphing. So integers or adding and subtracting using integers is a model that is used in many areas of math. Some textbooks teach integer addition with chips or counters. These counters are important as well. They are a good model of integer addition and subtraction for two reasons. One of them is that these counters cancel each other out. And canceling is a concept in math, especially in algebra. It's, uh, it's foundational. So here, a positive one, the blue chips are positive and the red ones are negative. They form a neutral pair and they, their additive sum is zero. They cancel each other out. And how you can add, say, um, positive five and negative three is gonna be here a few pages down somewhere here. There we go. The sum of positive five and negative three is modeled this way with chips laid out and counting one at a time some of them cancel out and you're left with two positives so there's nothing wrong with this model and it's actually important so namely counting by ones forming neutral pairs and canceling each other out are the core ideas here vectors somewhat work similarly so vectors have a direction and this one is a positive one and this one here is a negative one pointing from right to left and this one is pointing from left to the right so the size of this is positive 5 and the size of this is negative 5 they can have any size instead of counting one at a time but they cancel each other out and you know if you start at 0 and go to positive 5 and then you follow the negative one come back to you're gonna end up with 0 these two vectors cancel each other out Vectors don't have to be the same length. They do have to be pointing, you know, in the same direction. So if this one is, I don't know, I'm going to make it like the other one. Positive 5 is the blue arrow. And to this, I'm adding negative 3, but I'm going to put that negative 3 in a bracket. Oops. So in this case, this orange arrow is negative 3. We have a resultant vector because we didn't end up where we started the negative arrow sorry the resultant arrow is gonna be this long there sorry they don't perfectly line up or lay flat thanks to mr gates so the resultant vector here is two units long in the positive direction and how that's written is a positive two just like so it works the other way around as well. Yeah, you don't have to start at zero. You can start at three and end up at here, but positive three, end up at positive eight, come back three units. It's still, it's still the same thing. So you still have to count the resultant vector one at a time, one jump, two jumps, make sure it's counted correctly. So sometimes the, uh, they can be elsewhere. So this works with negative numbers as well. So if we have a negative, I don't know, seven. And to this, we add the positive four there. We have a resultant vector that's pointing from the right to the left. So it's gonna be a negative number and it's magnitude is three units there you sorry about the misalignment a little bit but you get the idea one two three units in the negative so this number here was uh, negative seven 
and to this a positive uh, counting by ones one two three four was added and the resultant vector is uh, three units long but it's going in the negative direction so there this is how integers can be added and subtracted using vectors and these vectors of course can also be used vertically i'm gonna put some vectors here i don't know let's start at zero we can go up to i don't know nine with one vector and with another vector uh sorry that was the positive one and with another vector uh, we can go down i don't know some units that would be a subtraction and with the resultant vector we are ending up at there just changing its color there for resultant vector so it works vertically as well this one represents the story of positive nine i'm just gonna make it a little bigger quite a bit bigger there positive nine and to this uh, a number was subtracted from which is uh, let's see counting it one at a time starting here one two three four five units down that's, sorry that's an addition of a negative five which is equaling the resultant vector is four units long there okay so that's how vectors work vertically and horizontally now i'm going to come back to this uh, horizontal number line here and take them away from there uh, and use it as it is used in physics and uh, trigonometry so if one vector it's not along a number line now points in that direction there and another vector say one person pushes a box in that direction and then another person pushes the box uh, slightly differently in a different direction there we have a resultant vector which is kind of pointing in the direction that the the, uh, the work of the two people can be replaced by the work of the green arrow uh, there close enough okay uh, uh, the green arrow the resultant force here that's exerted at where the first force vector starts and points to where the last or second force vector ends up so this is how forces work in physics uh, vectors can be added graphically like this and yes this is a triangle they form a triangle welcome to trigonometry which math deals with in uh, all kinds of different uh, variations and the same force vectors can be on a coordinate plane with number lines horizontally and vertically of course and these force vectors can be pointing anywhere they don't have to go through the zero there they can be anywhere they don't have to go through any specific whole number either so and of course they can be upside down whatever so with the concept of uh, the slope of a line you will be counting uh, horizontally in horizontal units like so and in vertical units like so to determine the slope of a line and that's again a math in graphing and again counting the length of these vectors one at a time <laughs> carefully so that's the same idea as dealing with these counters or chips one at a time and uh, there is no there could be cancelling here but uh, but for that vectors need to be pointing in the same direction and having the same magnitude then the blue and the green cancel or the, the blue and the red cancel each other out and then there is no resultant vector at all they're just deleted from the page so this is how this vectorial model of integer addition and subtraction works it's a graphical visual uh, way uh, just like this is somewhat visual as well 
uh, but this is used in, uh, like I said, measurement, trigonometry, uh, physics, and in graphing as well. So it's, uh, it's worthwhile to model uh, math problems with vectors as well as chips or counters.